Okay, uh, hi everyone. So now we are creating the technology APIs for our microservice. And you can see uh, we have these get put post delete. So this is get, get by ID. And this is create, right? So we are calling create and we are passing uh, create technology for him. Here, few more things which we can take care of is like the status code and all what need to be returned whenever we are actually done with the service and what data need to be returned. So we can follow the standard HTTP response codes. Like for delete, you can return 204. For the, the create, you can return 201, right? Content accepted and all these things. So here I have this post and okay, this should be a put. Then I have one more which is about delete the resource. And that is also mapped to the technology. So here I'm using delete by ID. And it will accept the same type of argument. Create technology, update technology and technology param by ID. So we will get the ID what we need to delete. So why we are writing these DTO classes? Because we are using this validation pipe and it will make sure whatever you are passing in the parameter, this parameter must be a UUID. Right, so now method name we can change. Delete and we can import all these missing. Why oh, this is not detecting fast. Fix, fix and missing imports. Okay, now here we need to do params dot id and it should be delete instead of create. We don't have this method, we'll create it. String is not assignable to type. Okay, so we are passing the parents only. Let's pass this. And here we are doing update. So what I will do is update and the data, data contains now here the update DTO param, right? It has the ID and it is extending the create tag param. So it must have ID and the name rest you can pass whatever you want. And this is update. So what we will do is we will use this HTTP status code for all these methods what they can return. That will just give a appropriate so what we'll do is HTTP code. And here we'll use HTTP status. Dot. Uh, for delete, uh, we should be able to return no content. So this is HTTP code for this. And similarly for put, we can just send OK. Not small OK. And similarly for create, let me just see, this should be HTTP code. Okay. okay, sorry, it will be in caps. And here we have status is okay. Similarly, we can add the thing for let's say post. Post should be content accepted, I think. So let me just do this. If you are getting okay, let me import all these. That's why I'm not able to get the missing inputs. So it should be a content accepted. This is how we create the HTTP post, which we use for create. I think it should be accepted. Okay, I, I will fix this entity accepted. And for get, it should be simply okay.
and something for get all. Okay, now we uh, we can format this code and we can fix these input things. Format document. Okay, delete. We are fine. Now we have update. We need to cover and this create. Create. We already have methods. We are working on that. And this update. So update. We need to write. In the update, we are getting the data, right? So what we will do here is we are passing the ID. So first we have to validate if you are passing the correct ID or not. If you are not passing correct ID, then we will throw okay the ID not found exception, right? That check is required everywhere, even if you do the delete. So here we are directly deleting things. But what if the ID is UUID is correct, but the ID is not correct, right? So for that we can just create one simple method in the private private async uh, find by id and you just pass the id and we will just give you okay if that uh, technology is there or not A find one it can be undefined that is correct because what if you are not passing this correctly so it should accept both find by id and we have one another method which is the uh, update here we have to check if okay let's say i call this method const technology equal to this dot find by id And I will be deleting this, so this is a sync await. So we'll just put await. If technology is there, let's say if technology is there, then only we will be able to delete. Otherwise, we have to throw the message for the exception. Right? Not found exception, something like that. So same we have done here bad request exception we can just throw uh, not found exception okay so this is fine for the delete why it is still complaining duplicate function implementation okay yeah this I have created for update and I'm getting the update parameter update technology by param and this is technology param by id all these things now i will just do the validation same thing i can write a maybe a separate function to validate all these things because we need to proceed further if you are passing the correct data correct id which you want to update okay otherwise if technology is found then obviously we will go for the update otherwise we will throw this error not found exception here what we will do is we got the technology but if technology is there what we will do is technology dot uh, let's say dot uh, name if you are trying to change the name and technology dot parent id all these things you can just change Or let's say description and all so what you need to do finally just uh, save it and return this dot repo dot save and technology object that's it okay it will not return the deleted object it will return the entity why it is containing a uh, row is missing technology but required deleted result yeah now everything is sorted that's it so this is our technology api now what i will do is we can also write the migration and i will start uh, populating some data in the technology and i will start fetching this in the get put post delete apis okay uh, thanks everyone